Hey what's up guys welcome back to our YouTube channel and welcome to this video this is John from Samux Code and in this video guys we're gonna talk about how we can implement the radio button in our JavaFX application so from the previous video we have discussed how we can work with the checkboxes so we have implemented the sample application that we, uh, that we could you know select different sports or multiple sports that the user uh, preferred so for example we have the basketball soccer we have the uh, baseball and of course the the fourth one is cricket as you can see here and then every time we click on this um, buttons or check boxes uh, it could display the number of items that has been selected and of course it could display the items or the actual item that has been selected by the user so it could update based on the selection that we made in this particular check boxes now in this video guys as, as i have said we're going to implement or discuss how we could um, use the radio buttons in our JavaFX application so as you can see guys radio buttons is pretty much the same with um, check boxes but um the obvious difference is that in uh, radio button the user is only allowed to select one option but in checkboxes we can select uh, multiple options so now let's try to um, work with our project so I have here the radio button project and I have here three files which is main.fxml file we also have main.java and the controller file which is main controller that java so as you can see here now let's try to open up the main that epic file and then let's try it or let's start working on with our project and as you can see here we have the basic layout or default layout for our application which has the um, button and of course the label okay so let's just remove this for now because we're, we don't need it for this particular application so in this particular application guys what we will be doing is we will allow the user to select uh, their gender so for example female or male so let's try to add first a label and then we're going to change the text into select gender so select gender and then of course we could you know change this uh, the font uh, instead of regular uh, regular it should be bold and then we could add the radio button okay so we could drag and drop it here right here and we could all uh, we could uh, also add another one okay Right there okay and then we could also check or I mean change the text of our radio button so the first one should be male and the second one is female okay female there you go and now if we if we try to preview this our application it should uh, look like this we have the label and of course the radio button so male and female okay but I, but as you can see here we could um, select the male and female at the same time and this particular behavior um, is not usual or we don't want this particular behavior because when we try to select gender it should be only male or uh, female so you, you cannot select both of, of this gender so in order for us to you know implement properly this rage button we need to close this for now and then uh, under properties we have here the option toggle group okay toggle group so we could um, add it on toggle group here so for example um, rb gender okay so that's rb gender and then we could copy this and do the same to the other one female and we could add the rb gender toggle group okay and then save it and then try to preview it here by 
clicking on the preview option or menu and then show preview in window and it should work as expected and we could only select one option here so it could be either male or female okay now let's try to add fx id for our radio button so click the radio button and then you could go to code and then you could add the fx id for example rb1 for our male and then rb2 for our female uh radio button so press um enter and then of course guys we could you know add on action event to this so for example we could name our event or method as radio select okay and then we could copy and paste this for the other mail radio button okay radio select there you go we could save this and let's go back to our NetBeans IDE and continue working on with our project radio button so as you can see here we could you know generate or update the controller by just you know right clicking the fxml file and then uh, make a controller so if you're following in my tutorial series then uh, i know by now you know how to update your main controller so as you can see here we have the updated you know um, elements that we have in our fxml file so basically we don't have the label and of course uh, we will try to get rid of this handle button action method because we don't need it right now what we need is this um, method uh, radio select so radio select method is the method that will be called every time we click or select any um, element or any radio button inside our uh, fxml file or you know java effects application so in here we could um get the message or i mean declare the message variable and we could set it to you know empty and then we could check if the first element has been selected by the user so rb1 is selected just like that is selected open close parenthesis and of course open and close curl braces and then inside here we could say message plus equals the rb1 and then get the text or the label of this particular rage button so plus and then um double code and then backslash n okay and then we could do the same for the other one if rb1 and this is rb2 is selected and this will be um rb2 also so basically guys what we, we what we are doing here is just every time the user clicks on the radio button it would call this radio select method and then it will declare the message so this message will be um set or the value of this message will be set depending on the radio button element that we have clicked so we have here two um, radio button element or elements rb1 and rb2 and after this um i think we, we need to add a label because we want to display every time we select the radio button we need to display the the message or the label of the radio button that we have selected so let's go back first to the um um, scene builder and then main that fxml file and then we can add here the label itself for example uh, we, sh we should name this as the label gender so um, fx id is lbl and then gender okay and then we could remove uh, remove the text by going to properties and delete this okay so let's go back to our NetBeans IDE and update our main controller file. So main controller and then we have here the um, label that we have added. 
in our scene builder application. So after this um, control statement if, we could, you know, set the text of our label into the um, actual label of our rage button. So it could be either be male or female. Okay. So I think that's it. And then we could save this and we could clean and build our application. And we could run our application right now. And then of course, you can see here the option uh, to select gender, male or female. And we could, you know, try to click on this and then it should display the label or actual label of this particular radio button. And of course, the male, uh, male, female, and uh, yeah, male. So as you can see, if every time we run this application, the option for the gender male or female is uh, not selected by default. So it should be, um, we could set this to be male by default. So we could go back to our um, scene builder and then we could click on this rage button and then we could set this to selected okay and then save so basically it will just you know set the first rage button to selected okay so let's try this clean and build and then of course run our application so as you can see it is selected by default i mean the male rage button so I think that's all there is to it guys for this tutorial and if you want to learn more about you know Java effects in general you could follow along with our Java uh, Java effects tutorial series and of course if you have questions regarding rage buttons or any other topics about Java effects you could you know comment down below in the comment section and I think that's all there is to it guys and thank you for watching see you in the next video